Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Today I'd like to show you how to quickly rename tracks imported into Reaper. In a lot of cases, when an artist sends you tracks for mixing, they may have track numbers appended to the names of the files that don't necessarily coincide with your track order. You can go through the process of manually renaming each and every track, which is fine if there's only a small number of tracks. There's definitely a better way. Let's take a look. The project I've got open is a song called It's In These Times by a band called Rovers Ahead. The tracks are provided by Cambridge Music Technology. Click the link above for more information on downloading multi-tracks for mix practice. Now I've already got the tracks arranged in an order that I like, but as we can see here in the track manager, each track has a number appended. We've got 17, 18, 19, 20, and so on. And that definitely doesn't correspond with my track order. As I said before, I can go through and double click and manually rename each track, but that's tedious. Fortunately, there's a script that's available in Repack that will help us to quickly rename each of these tracks. If you don't have Repack or you're not familiar with what that is, click the link above to learn how to install that into Reaper. Once you've got Repack installed, we'll go to Extensions, Repack, and Browse Packages. In the filter, we'll search for Search and Replace. Here we have XRAM Search and Replace in Selected Tracks Names. I'll right click that and choose Install and hit Apply. And that installs the script and gives us a little bit of information. I'll close out of Repack. I don't currently have a toolbar button or a key press bound to that action, so we'll go to Actions and Show Action List. And in the filter, we'll search for Search and Replace. Here we have the script Search and Replace in Selected Track Names. Now before I run that script, I'd like to go to my track manager, or you can do it on the track control panel or the mix control panel if you'd like, and highlight each of the tracks that has a number appended at the front. Now that I've got my track selected, I can go back to the actions list, and with the script selected, choose run and close. This brings up the search and replace dialog. Now each of these tracks has a consistency in the naming convention in that it's got three characters that I want to remove before the actual track name. I'll choose Truncate from Start, 3, and press OK. Now all of my tracks are conveniently named the way that I prefer without the track number listed with them. That's definitely a whole lot faster than manually renaming each of these tracks. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee or Patreon link below. I like coffee. Also check the links in the description to join us on Discord to engage with other Reaper users. See you next time. It's in these times. It's in these times. It's in these times. It's in these times. These tracks are provided by Cambridge. Cambridge. Is it Cambridge or Cambridge? How do you pronounce that word? It's in these times. It's in these